This is Twit. Are you ready? It's time for a call Let's for help. I'm really excited about this one. On the line with us, Greg from New Jersey. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hi, guys. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you for hanging with us for a little bit. Because uh, you have a story I think I want everybody to hear. You bought and already got a Pixel 2 XL. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, I think. <laughs> when, when, I, uh, when did you get yours? I uh, got it last week. I uh, pre-ordered it, and it came in, I think, last Thursday or Friday. Now, this is the, the bigger one, the full bezel the one, one that people have. It uses an LG OLED, same one in the V30. People have two complaints about it. One doesn't bother me so much as they say it's kind of grainy, uh, especially when you dim the screen. Did you notice that? No, I haven't had the graininess. See, and um, that doesn't bother me. I've seen that before. I, I went and looked at one at Verizon. But you also say you had the other problem, the burn-in problem. Yes, I had the burn-in problem. Um, I had the burn-in problem, so I contacted them. And uh, Wait a minute now. First, Wait a minute. What's that? You're leaving out an important part. It came burned in. Oh, yes, yes. Well, the first one, there's two that I've had. The first one, I didn't notice that it came burned in. It took a day or two. And after a day or two, people started talking about it. I looked, and I said, oh, yeah, my phone does have the burn in. It came that so, way. That's crazy. It came that way. Two days old, it was there. Oh, that's terrible. Right. So what? So you called them? So I called Google, and um, they at first were telling me that everything was working properly and not to be too concerned about it, but they would put it in for an inquiry. And I said, okay, but it doesn't seem right. So um, the next day, my phone started hanging up and squeal noises were coming through the speaker on phone calls. Oh, dear. Ah, and when it hung issue. up, it yeah. rebooted. Oh, no! Not just hanging up the call, the whole phone reboot and start over. Uh-oh. So after a couple times of that, I called Google again, and I explained that to them. And while I was on the phone with them, it happened, and they had to call me back. And they're so, like, oh, wow, this uh, is yeah. a serious problem. Yeah. I said, yes, you, got, you got a lemon for sure in that regard. A anyway. couple. Yeah. Yes. What do you mean a couple? So, then, so you, sent it you sent it in? So they issued me a replacement. I got that in this Friday, yesterday. And the first thing I did when I opened the box was checked it for the screen burn in, and it had it as I was going through the setup <laughs> menu. I could find it out of the box. Oh my goodness! Now I, I guess they probably test these in the yeah. factory, but it yeah. sounds like it gets the burn in. Is this a picture of it? Well, that's yes. somebody else's picture. It's it's example mine. of same thing though. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'm sorry. That's a major defect. You do not want to accept that. So, yeah. so no. you called them back, and then this time so, they said okay. I called them back again today and I said, you know, I want to report this. You know, I said, I don't know what you're trying to do with it or what you're not trying to do, but I, you know, what's the deal? And uh, it basically said the phone's working properly, but this isn't, you know, acceptable on my level. So they said that they're taking the IMEI numbers down on the returns and they're tracking it down to what location and what parts could possibly be defective and they're going to try to narrow it down. Okay, because not all reviewers, I should I should mention at least a lot of you know what we've heard about this issue um, has been from reviewers that got early access uh, models of this so that they could write the reviews. Not all reviewers noticed this burn in issue. Some of them did, so it's See, very possible that there's. A, I would hope that's a, the case. Yeah. They got all the screens from the same factory, the LG factory. It's an older factory. Yeah, uh, it was the only one capable of making them in that capacity. It's the same screen in the V30. But we aren't seeing that burn in the V30. No, not we know that, that Samsung of. modifies its software on its OLEDs in the Note 8 and the Galaxy S8. They jitter it. They actually, I'm told, I don't know this for a fact because I can't see it, but apparently they move the screen by one pixel every once in a while so that these buttons at the bottom, which are always on the screen, are not always in the same position, slightly okay. off. And they, I guess they do that because OLEDs are prone to burn in. This is yeah. not... It's unusual. A, yeah, it's part of the technology, or at least it's known about the technology. But the POLEDs that, that LG's using may be, may be more prone to it? I don't know. God, it sounds like it. So how does it stand right now? Which, which phone are you on? And Are, are they I'm, sending I'm you another my, one? Yes, I'm on my second. I'm waiting for my third. The third should be here Monday. Um, wow. And, you know, they just told me to try to enjoy the phone because it's working properly and this bug <laughs> will get worked out. But, Try to enjoy the phone. Try to enjoy yeah. all of those uh, those holds on your credit card too, while uh, while all this yeah, is only happening. you know three thousand dollars worth of holds. <laughs> so well, I'm, I'm this is really interesting. I mean, yeah. So th there is a question, and and I don't think we know from what Google said to you if they know if it's if is this going to be on every Pixel Two XL? 
Well, well I that's mean, my question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, they know that it's significant enough that they had to make some sort of a public acknowledgement of the issue, and and, and they ended up making a correction to their warranty policy. So normally uh, they would give, I think it's a year's. Uh, manufacturer's warranty when you buy a new Pixel. If you wanted more than that, you could buy the extended coverage, what is it called, the uh, preferred care extended warranty. Um, but with this announcement that I think they made on Thursday afternoon, they're basically extending the manufacturer's warranty to a full two years. Um, now, if you've bought preferred care, that basically negates the need for preferred care. So they say you can get a refund for that if, if you did happen to buy that because they're basically offering that for free from well, what but, I understand. But if they can't fix this problem, that yeah. isn't even going to be a solution because no. if they can't send you one that doesn't have a burn-in right. issue, uh, then then who would want this phone? Is it Well, let me ask you that, Greg. Is it bad enough that you go, oh, I can't, I can't take it? Well, I, I don't know. That's my question, really. It's kind of hard to say. Would that bother you enough? Me? I, I don't know. It, it's always there, so it's in the back of your head. And yeah. when the phone's $1,000, it kind of feels silly telling, say, your wife you spent $1,000 on a phone. And, oh, by the way, there's a burn in it, and you can see it looking at it, you know, to remind me. Thanks, you know. So, I yes, mean, I showed yeah. I showed my neighbor last night my great new phone, and the first thing he said to me was like, does it have that issue they're talking about? And yeah, I said, well, can you see it? And he said, oh, wow, look at that. So This is very bad for Google. Yeah, yeah. that's not good at all. Um, they're, they're also, well, I, okay, to answer your question, or at least to, to kind of address your question, do you return it? I think I think that's going to vary from person to person. Some people aren't. This probably you know might not bother them, but just it would bother me, right? Knowing that it's there, knowing that if you watch a video or something that removes that navigation bar, that there's a possibility that you're going to have some sort of uh, persistence in the image. Like that would bug me, and especially for the price of of the device. At some point, I, I feel like I would have to just call it and be like, all right, well, apparently this isn't my phone because they can't get this right for this premium price tag. We're, we're Same time, talk... some people might not be bug, bugged by yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not, for instance, bugged by the dimming, the the pixelated grainy dimming because no. I looked at that and I yeah. see it, but it doesn't that, that doesn't bother me so much, but it would bother me, I guess. I don't know. You were both getting them, right? I have one. I should be getting mine on Monday. I, I, I suppose from where, where I'm coming from is at, at least Google has acknowledged it. At least they're offering, you know, via the warranty, um, some sort of concessions there. And I imagine if, if you get this phone, you can see, live with it for a couple of weeks, see how much it really bugs you, and, you know, uh, go back to Google if it, if it bothers you that much and get your money back. They're, they're basically saying yes to that. Now, should you have to do that when you're spending $1,000 on a phone? Heck no. And maybe that's enough for someone to say, I'm not even going to touch it, because there are plenty of really great phones out right now. Yeah, we're going to talk about Android phones. I mean, in that price point, this is, a, this is the Samsung Note 8. Yeah. Phenomenal phone. Awesome phone. And that screen doesn't have burden. It's the most beautiful screen ever. Um, one thing that's also an interesting point is that Google claims they're calibrating their Pixel XL screens, actually both Pixel 2 screens, for an sRGB standard. Mm -hmm. And that apparently is not the case. You get a little bit of off-axis blue tints. Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, know if you noticed that. I definitely noticed that when Florence and I well, showed it off on Tuesday. I can say as far as the blue tint, it is there. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me because I can, you know, yeah. I mostly hold my phone straight on, so it doesn't right. really bother me. Plus, they do say that it helps with wearing sunglasses and seeing a phone. And I can say with this phone, you can wear a pretty dark pair of sunglasses and still read your phone. Yeah, that's like, good. No other phone I've ever used. They've so. used, from that, what I understand, they've used a circular polarizer on this screen. Ah, interesting. Uh, so you can wear your sunglasses and you're not going to get a Even polarized, polarized sunglasses. And that, and that works really good. That's and nice. the other thing I can say as far as the warranty stuff, what I noticed was the first time it was pretty difficult to get through to them that I wanted a new phone. And today on this one, it was pretty simple. Like they, yeah, they yeah. kind of, the guy knew it. Like they no know they got a problem. Are, they've made yeah. their admission. They have to stick to so, it. Yeah. I wouldn't be worried about being able to return it or not. I right. just, what do you do from that point on? Because, yeah. you know, I mailed back my other Pixel. So that with if I send this back, I don't have a current phone. Oh, that's true. And and you when know, you mailed in your other Pixel, credit. when you mailed in your other Pixel, that was to get the the discount because for the trade. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, so how do they I'm rectify that? Because you no longer right. have the phone, you got a discount for the new phone that you bought. You're getting your money back. Like it's kind of a mess. Yeah, that it? is kind of a mess.
Yeah. Um, I mean, for, for what it's worth, just uh, to kind of uh, be completionist about this topic, 8.1 is in de developer preview right now, and Google is addressing this at least partially through software by dimming the bottom navigation bar after two seconds uh, to hopefully to mitigate the, the problem or to slow it. I don't know. So but what this does underscore is uh, as much as we like to have the newest thing the minute it comes out, yeah. maybe that's not always the best thing to do. Yeah. For most people, it might be worth waiting a month or two to hear what the problems are with any new phone, particularly a new design. So going to the iPhone 8 wasn't as risky because that's basically the 7. But going to the iPhone 10, that may be risky. And I would, same thing, I would wait and see yeah, uh, and and I guess this is true. The Pixel, we, you and I have to buy these because we want to be able to review them for you. We're we're the guinea pigs, so <laughs> take advantage of the fact that we have to do it and wait and hear what people say. This is a yeah. this is a bit of a problem. Yeah, uh, Google curious. also needs to color calibrate these out of the factory. They're apparently not saying they're doing it, but apparently not. Uh, there, I just was reading an interesting thread. Marcus Brownlee's talking about the, the bad color on his phone, but he kind of got it wrong in terms of. He's saying it's because it's sRGB calibrated, but iPhones have been sRGB calibrated for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, and now they're P3 calibrated and they have fine color. I think the, the, I was reading one thread by a, a, a guy who does uh, color uh, analysis of screens who says it's completely off calibration. Mm -hmm. It's as if it was not calibrated in the factory. Oh, interesting. So this is, a, this is another open question. Yeah. I think there's a number of open questions with this Pixel. It very much disappoints me because I was very excited about the Pixel Completely 2. Completely agree. Uh, especially the XL. Uh, yeah. Greg, our advice I, at this point, I think you're kind of stuck only because you don't have a backup. Yeah. Yep. Uh, cross your fingers, this third one fixes it. Well, I mean, well, there, there, is, there is an alternative here, which is the fact that we're not seeing this on the smaller version of the Pixel 2. From what I understand, this is right. just a Pixel 2 XL. That's an AMO, AMOLED screen, which I think means it's a Samsung screen, right? POLEDs are LG's version. Sure. AMOLEDs are Samsung's version. Samsung does not seem to have these issues with their screens. Maybe they have a more mature OLED technology. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if, if your priority with this is, is, to, is yeah. to stay on, in the Google kind of world, you know, with their hardware and obviously to have a better display, um, maybe trying out the two before you bag it. I, but, I, you know, it's a smaller device. There are reasons that you get the larger one versus the right. smaller one. A lot of the features are the same, but there's some differences. Uh, it's another option, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. If the third one comes in, I'll give it a few days to a week and yeah. see what it, you know. If it comes in right away, I'll 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 know and I'll decide, you know. And I, maybe I will try to you know a smaller one. Yeah. You know. I, yeah, I don't. So. I'm not. I'm, if it's a hardware issue, I'm not convinced that any software can fix it. But we'll yeah. see. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Agreed. Greg, stay in touch. I'd love to know how you, your right. experience is. And the good news is that in both cases they've replaced it. Right. And yeah, that, yeah. That is that is good service. But there's no point in getting it replaced if they're not going to fix the problem. So. Yeah, just sending you a bad, another bad one. Another really bad one. That's not problem. a fix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you thank a lot. You. Yeah. Appreciate it. Best I, of luck. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens with your phone with my phone. Florida yeah. Hasn't had any curious. problem with hers. She has. I have to yet. say, I saw a terrible burning on a Pixel Two at the Verizon store, really? and I th and I and I d I didn't pay any attention to it. Uh, yeah, it was really badly burning. Now remember, with an OLED screen, there's burn in, which is permanent, and then there's persistence, right? Which, image persistence. Image persistence, which gets better. Mm -hmm. uh, this sounds like burn in, mm -hmm. and that's a big, big issue if you're getting burned in screens. Those screens are especially now, if you're receiving it and ruined. unboxing it, and Those immediately it's there. That's just that's horrible. a ruined screen that got ruined quickly. Yeah. Uh, and if it's that bad now, what's it going to be in a month? Yep, that's the big question. I think that's exactly why Google extended it to two years. Yeah. Uh, I think what we're really seeing, and I think if you start with the Note 7 and you, and you go to this phone, we'll see with the Apple iPhone 10. they've had certainly production problems with that, the companies are pushing really hard to make something special happen in their new phones. Mm -hmm. And if they push too hard, as they did with the Note 7, you've got an exploding phone. As Google may have done with the Pixel 2 XL, you've got a phone with bad screen issues. They're, they really want to make big jumps forward, and I don't know if that's even possible now. So, this may be a tr this may not be the end of this trend we'll see